Hi there, Gateway Church family, and welcome to episode eight, our final episode of our Bible Basics series, where we've been learning about the basics of the Bible. It's been so great journeying with you and teaching you the basics of the Bible. We've looked at what the Bible is, what the Bible is all about. I've shared with you the best Bible translations. I've shared with you some tips for before you start reading the Bible. It's been great to help you to know how to read the Bible, where to begin, how to study the Bible, and to share resources to help you deepen your reading of God's Word. But as we come to an end of this series, did you know that there is more than just reading the Bible? God has so much more for you. Yes, it's important to read the Bible. Yes, it's important to study the Bible, but there is more. And I just want to share with you these two encouragements as we come to an end. The first encouragement is to allow God's word to change you. Allow it to change you. Don't just read it, but allow God to read you. Allow him to speak to you and mold you because the goal of Bible reading is so that we know would encounter God and become more like Jesus. That is the goal. The Holy Spirit's working in us as we read the word. We've got to allow the word to do the work within our lives. I love what it says in Hebrews chapter 4. Verse 12 says this, For the word of God is alive and powerful. It's sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cut in between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. You know, when we keep the Bible at arm's length, we miss out on the profound power that it has. God wants to speak to us and reveal himself to us and work in us as we read the word. This is God's primary way of, of revealing himself to you and me. And God wants to change us. He wants us to become more and more like Jesus. He wants to transform us from the inside out. And so I want to encourage you. The first encouragement is to allow God to change you. Allow God's word to shape and mold you. Allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you as you read the Bible. Don't close yourself off, but instead open up your heart. That's why I've said before, it's so important to pray before you read the Bible and at the end of the Bible, because it's all about encountering Jesus. It's all about encountering him. If you want to become all who God has created you to be, if you want to have all that God's intended you to have, then you need to open up your life and allow God to work in your life. You know, it's easy to point out in other people the areas that they need to change and the parts of the character that they need to work on. But it starts with us. We've got to take the log out of our own eyes before we take the splinter out of other people's eyes. As Jesus said, allow God to work in your life, to become more and more like him. You know, this is what it's all about. I heard a Greek word recently that's really changed the way that I see things. It's really challenged me. And that word is magis. This word magis, it means to be better than we were before. It's not about being better than other people, but it's about us becoming better than we were before. And that's what happens when we read the Bible, when we spend time with Jesus, when we sit at the feet of our Savior, when we are with our good shepherd, when we become more like him, he changes us. And it's about our growth, God working in us to become more like him, not worrying about other people, but God working in us so that we might shine as examples to the world around us and tell other people about him. So I want to encourage you with that word, magis, and allow God's word to work in you, to become better than we were before. And finally, the final encouragement is to live it out. Not just hear God's word, not just study God's word, and not just have God work in us, but to live it out as well, to obey it so that we might shine for Jesus. You know, I really believe this is one of the biggest challenges for Christians today, to obey God's word. But it's not about God having God just speak to us, but it's about God working in and through our lives. We're called to obey the word of God. God said this to Joshua in the Old Testament in Joshua chapter 1. Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and see, succeed in all you do. In John's gospel, Jesus said, if you love me, obey my commandments. We love him. We want to obey what he says. And James chapter 1 in the New Testament says this in verse 22 to 25. But don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you're only fooling yourselves. For if you listen to the word and don't obey it, it's like glancing at your face in a mirror. You see yourself. Walk away and forget what you look like. But if you look carefully into the perfect law that sets you free, and if you do what it says and don't forget what you've heard, then God will bless you for doing it. Let's not just be a people who hear the word, but let's be a people who obey the word, who do the word, who live out the word. May we become 
a word of God, people. May people look at our lives and see Jesus in and through our lives. And so I want to thank you for joining me on this journey through the Bible basics. It's been so great, and I pray that God has spoken to you, that God has blessed you, that you have a new hunger and appetite to open up God's word, to read God's word, and study God's word. I hope that this has helped you to do that, and I pray that Jesus will continue working in you, that you continue growing and become more like him and shine for him in the world around you. I'd love to pray for you as we end this series. Lord, I just thank you for this time that we've had together. I thank you for every person who's clicked on these videos and watched them online. Lord, I pray that you will bless them, Lord, as they have a hunger to know more about you and grow in their walk with you. Speak to them, change them, mold them, continue to do that in my life so that we might be like you, Lord Jesus, so that we might shine for you in the world around us. Lord, we thank you for the Bible. We thank you for your word. We thank you that you speak to us today, that this book is more relevant than ever. Lord, may we live it out. May we read it. May we obey it. May we proclaim it. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your good news, your good news for all people. We give you praise and we love you, Lord. Bless every person who's watching online right now. Bless them and their families. Lord, I thank you and ask it in Jesus' name.